I feel good. I feel bloody good. Oh no, I've already clapped. I saw a comment on yesterday's video that said, I've just realized how much Alfie claps in his videos and now I'm aware of it, I can't stop noticing it. And as soon as I read it, I was like, oh my God, I nearly clapped again. I nearly clapped again. As soon as I read it, I was like, I'm gonna make such a conscious effort tomorrow not to clap. I'm not gonna clap once in the vlog and I'm probably not even gonna mention it. Here I am mentioning it straight away and nearly clapping twice and the video hasn't even started yet. Great one. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Happy Friday. Although, oh, that doesn't count as a clap. That was just my hands going together. Although it's not Friday for you. You're, you're watching this on the weekend. I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're relaxing. I hope you're taking some time for yourself. I mentioned this on my Instagram live yesterday, so sorry if you watched that and I'm repeating myself, but I just want to mention it again because I feel like it's important and I think it, uh, the weekend is a perfect time for, to address this and for people to action it if they want to and it's up to them. I encourage you to reach out to all your friends, check in, make sure they're okay, make sure that they're physically having a good time getting on at the moment, mentally having a good time getting on and they are okay, uh, family as well, loved ones. But most importantly, I feel like it's quite easy to, how do I put this? Not think about all your friends when thinking of that or all your family members because some people give off the impression, I suppose, that everything is all good and they're okay and they're doing more work than ever and they're getting on better than ever and they're managing it really well. And don't forget about those people because just because somebody gives off that they're all good all of the time doesn't mean that they are on the inside. That's just might be what they're giving off. So make sure you check in, on, check in on those people as well. As well as the ones who are more quiet and you feel like you need to more regularly check in on. Just make sure you're checking in on everyone because not everybody always shows that, they're, that they need that. Even if it's just a little FaceTime. Seeing how are you? What are you up to? How have you been? But proper, how are you? Not just like, hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm all good, thanks, cool. Okay, anyways, carrying on. Like, check in on your bloody friends. You've got the time at the moment and it will mean so much. And I hope that your friends are checking in on you and your family members and everyone. It's the bloody weekend. You've got time, you're stuck inside. I know it, because you're watching this bloody video. I would rather you right now click off of this video. I don't mind. Leave my video and go ring a family member, go drop them a text, go leave them a voice note. Even if you don't want to call somebody up and you're not into calls, go on your little WhatsApp. I say little, everyone's WhatsApp's the same size. Go on your WhatsApp, just press the little voice note microphone button, send somebody a little voice note. Hey, just checking in how you are. Just making sure you're okay, you don't need anything. I'm always here. Do that instead of watching this video if you want. Or if you've got time, do both. That'd be great. I've got my dream lunch today in a saucepan. I cooked up pasta for dinner last night and it was the most delicious thing possible. Like it was just the best sausage pasta, but I overcooked and I didn't do it on purpose. And I put half of it inside this pan and just put it in the fridge. Well, I didn't put it inside the pan, I just left it in the pan, put it in the fridge and I'm eating the other half for lunch today, cold, and it is banging. I started off the vlog saying I'm in a good mood and I'm happy. I forgot to show you why. I got distracted by my clapping. A couple of things. Number one, my new video is all scheduled and all ready to go up today. I feel like I can't relax. And maybe this is something I need to work on with myself because I feel like I just, I, it's like I've got an itch, I'm just a bit agitated. If I've got a video that I need to upload that evening until it is literally edited, the thumbnail is done, it is put up on my YouTube channel, unlisted, ready for the, for the evening. The caption's done, the description's done, the title's done. I've sent the thumbnail to my phone to it to put on Instagram. Until all of that is done, for the entirety of the day, I feel like I've got like an itch that I, that I just can't get done. I can't itch it. And my new video is all scheduled and ready for tonight. And I literally feel like it's like, just like relax instantly. Second exciting thing, Zoe and I just shot an IGTV for her, uh, for her Instagram, baking some cookies. I don't know when it's gonna go up. We also shot another IGTV yesterday for her. Uh, actually, no, I was the cameraman for that, which was banana bread. I wasn't in that one, but this one I was in. And these cookies aren't ready to eat yet. They're still cooling down. But don't these just look banging? Like, look at the size of that cookie. And the best thing about these cookies, because we're self-isolating, Zoe and I are the only ones that get to enjoy them. We don't get to, Unfortunately, what a shame. We don't get to give any to family and friends. I got hit right in the heart when I woke up this morning. Proper hit. So I went on Twitter this morning, which as you know, I don't really use Twitter. 
I'm just not really, I got asked about it the other day when I was on Instagram Live, why don't I use Twitter much? And I was like, I don't know, currently I just don't really like the platform. I'm just not really into like, tweeting anything. I don't know. I can't really explain it. I just love Instagram and I love YouTube. And I'm really liking watching Twitch at the moment. But Twitter for me, don't know. Don't really like it. Maybe one day it'll change and I might start using it again. I did open it up this morning though because I got a tweet from Tyler Oakley and it hit me. He tweeted seven hours ago. I wonder what the British crew is up to. At Zoe Sugg, at Marcus Butler, at Alfie Days, at Louise Pentland, at Jim Chapman, at Joe Sugg, at Tanya Burr, at Fun for Louis. But y'all staying 1.8288 meters apart over there. And the amount of people that are replying, like Jim, Louis, Louise, and the replies from everybody that used to watch all of us all together. Do I set up a virtual like video call? I'll get a link for a video chat and I'll invite everybody in that tweet into the video call and I'll give everybody a time and a date. I, d I don't know who will turn up. I can't, I can't promise that people are gonna turn up or whatever. I'll just set the, the date, the time and the link. I'll create it all. And if people wanna come, then people can come. I don't know who will be there, but I feel like it could be cool. If you think this is a good idea, go down below and give the video a thumbs up. No one can say that they're too busy. Everyone's got time in the evenings. Everyone's in their house. Okay, let me know what you think. It's Friday which means Friday drinks in the office. But obviously everyone's working from home in our office, so we do the Friday drinks remotely on like a video chat app kind of thing online. In yesterday's video, I discovered just how easy it is for me to make my favorite drink. And I'm running late for this uh, video call, or Friday drink, shall we say. So I need to make this quickly. This, if you didn't see yesterday's video, is a Moscow Mule. Basically, get yourself a glass full of ice, squeeze a lime, shit, that went everywhere. Squeeze a lime into the ice, pour in some vodka. Gonna go for a, a double shot, and then add yourself some ginger beer. Don't have a spoon, a little stir. Cheers. Right, let's go join this call. Moscow Mule. I'm putting the camera away. Sometimes you just gotta not vlog things. We're gonna be making dinner. Somebody just commented on my vlog now saying, can you tell me why Zoe started drinking? Zoe doesn't not drink. No, Zoe doesn't not not drink. She just doesn't drink often at all and doesn't get drunk. Getting drunk freaks me out. You just don't like the thought of not That's being. Really like the taste of alcohol. Most alcohols. Anyways, I'm gonna put my camera away. We're probably gonna cook dinner naked. <laughs> naked cooking, just wearing aprons. Yeah, I wanna get my tatties out. <laughs> right, I'm putting the camera away. What are we even cooking? I just wanna know what you want. Tell me what you want. I'm annoying Zoe because I'm very excited that it's Friday and the vlog has gone up and everyone is reacting incredibly well to it. I've got chicken breasts that I need to eat before they go out of date. Let's see what's the closest to going out of date and let's eat that for dinner. So that would be sensible. Oh, oh also. Nice of April. That's good. I haven't had my ginger shot yet today. Um, right, put the camera away guys. I'll see you soon. Shit, I just clapped. Just finished up editing what you've seen and I shot it all on Friday. It's currently Sunday for me. It is the most beautiful weather. All the birds are out singing. I'm also vlogging today as well. Uh, but this video is only like nine minutes so far and I did like a little Q&A at the end of a video, probably like four or five videos ago and the feedback was so bloody positive. So I just jumped on Instagram and asked you guys for some questions and I thought I'd do a little Q&A, add it into here. Is there a single moment in your life that you would like to relive again for the experience? Oh, good question. You guys come up with some bloody good questions. Is there a single moment? Okay, if it's for the experience, if it's not like with a family member that's no longer around or something, if it's for the experience, maybe I'd have to say my first ever book signing. Zoe and I turning up to my first ever book signing was possibly the craziest moment I've had in my life. There was like 8,000 of you, there was helicopters and police horse and like, it was crazy. No one got hurt, which was amazing, but it was one of the, probably the craziest moment of my entire life because it was so unexpected and I'll definitely 
like to relive that in some capacity because that was just like, I don't know how to describe it, it was just madness. What do you think the most drastic change has been on your YouTube channel since starting? Oh, that's a good one, the most drastic change. I don't know about drastic. I was gonna say stopping my gaming channel was pretty drastic. That stopped like two or three years ago. The only other thing I can think about is just growing up. Just gradually getting older and the style of content I like making changing and my videos adapting. Like you can tell my vlogs now are very different to when they used to be like all the trends and challenges and like, what's up guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. Like I used to be like a teenager when I started, I suppose, or like early, early 20s. I was just like, go, 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 go mentality absolute hype all of the time. I still got that in me a little bit, but it's more just mature now, the content. So I suppose that's quite a drastic change, but not quickly. That's like a slow drastic. I don't know if there's, is there such thing as slow and drastic? I don't think so. You were working on building a motorcycle ages ago. Is this still going ahead? That's so funny that you remember stuff like that. I was building a motorbike and I was designing it all. It was really, really sick. And I've got all the designs and I leaked bits of the designs. I never think about telling you small things like this because I just don't assume you remember, but maybe you do, or you definitely do because I've got a question about it. I put a hold on the process of building it because it was going into winter. And I was like, I don't wanna do my motorbike license and get my motorbike during super rainy, cold period of time. And then I just never got around to doing it. We tried to sync a couple of dates up so that I could go and film and vlog and go and shoot and get involved in the process of actually building it and making it because I was designing it all from, not from scratch, it was off the base of another motorbike, but we were tweaking a lot and getting a lot of it customised. But I tried to sync up a couple of dates to go and be there when it was getting built and go and help out and we couldn't make the dates work. And then it just gradually, the weather got worse and it just didn't happen. So it just hasn't happened. However, I have actually got an announcement. I'm working on something very exciting. Not motorbikes, but something pretty similar. Starting pretty soon. The contracts are yet to be officially signed. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I can say right now because the contracts literally haven't been signed. As soon as the contracts are signed, I will tell you and show you more about what's happening. My camera just ran out of memory, so I just had to delete some stuff. What three habits will improve your life? That is a great question. Solid morning routine is definitely one of them. Making sure that you have like a routine of things that you do every single morning and you stick to it, whether that's waking up at the same time, eating similar kinds of breakfast, making sure you're getting the right breakfast in. Maybe it includes meditation or a workout or some kind of journaling or a cold shower or a normal shower or whatever the routine is. Having a solid morning structure to set your day off right is super important, so that's definitely one. A bit more of a niche one, but I don't think many people do it and I think it's crucial to just being happy is checking in on yourself every like six months or maybe even every year. I wouldn't say more than every six months, but just proper like taking a couple of days out and doing nothing, not watching Netflix and all of that, just taking a day or so out to make sure that what you're working on and what you're doing and what you spend your time outside of work, in work, whatever, your relationships, the people you surround yourself with, is all beneficial and all still going in the right direction for where you want to go in life because it's very easy to bloody blink and three years have gone by. In fact, I said, I said in a vlog the other day, before you know it, you'll be 40. And then I got so many people, I'm sorry, that were over 40 being like, what's wrong with being over 40? I'm 63, what's wrong with that? Your life doesn't stop at 40. I didn't mean life stops at 40, guys, at all. I simply meant that I'm 25 and if I blink before I know it, I will be 40. Not in terms of that that's a negative thing, but just in terms of time passing. I feel like it's so easy for a couple of years to go by and you haven't checked in with yourself to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with the right people and that you're working in your, in your work hours, outside of your work hours to benefit where you wanna be in the future. So check in with yourself every like, I'd say six months just to make sure that you're still on track for where you wanna be in five years time, 10 years time, and that you're making progress. Bloody hell, a third thing. That one was long. Just checking in on people, seeing how they are. Not just saying, hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, what are you up to? But properly seeing how they are. Make that habit of yours, that's bloody important. What is one celebrity you'd like to collaborate with on The Secrets Out? Ooh, good question. The Secrets Out is coming out as a podcast, hopefully in May, that is, hopefully the launch date. We've recorded two episodes so far. I've recorded with Robbie Williams at his house and his wife Ida. 
I recorded with Chris and Rosie Ramsey, who have got Shag Married and Annoyed podcast, and Zoe was on that episode. Uh, we've got a lot of good episodes lined up with great guests, but obviously all of this corona stuff has shifted dates around a bit, but we're still going to try and stick to it. We're going to try and record some episodes remotely without being next to each other in person like we normally would. But who would I have as a, a guest? A dream guest. Maybe someone like Justin Bieber. He'd be sick. Ed Sheeran would be great. Maybe comment down below who you who would be your dream guest to be on The Secrets Out when it drops as a podcast. And I'll see if I can make some of them happen. This question's from somebody called Kira. And she's obviously American because it says, Did y'all buy your house? Or did you buy the plot and build it? Gorgeous home, by the way. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. We worked bloody hard on the house. We didn't buy a plot. We bought the house. But then we spent over two years working on it. We literally spent so much time designing it and building like all like we changed basically the whole of the inside, all the shapes of the rooms, everything like that. So to answer your question, we didn't buy a plot. We bought the house, but it would have been quicker to bloody buy a plot and build it because we changed so much, but left the main exterior. How do you decide what brands you work with? That's a bloody interesting question, man. On. I feel like I've spoken about this a bit before. I am not signed to a management company. I used to be signed to a management company and I left them maybe like three years ago now. Yeah, over three years, three and a half years ago now. Holy shit. I left them three and a half years ago now. And instead of paying somebody, they used to take 20% of my earnings. Instead of paying them 20%, I thought, what if I spend that 20% upfront? Obviously a bit of a risk because the other way around, I'm guaranteed the other 80%, but this way I'm spending 20%, hoping to get the 80%, if that makes sense. And I was like, okay, what if I hire a team in-house and I rent an office and I hire legal and finance and brands and creative and I hire all these roles and an office manager and everyone works just solely together for me as a team. And we all have the same goals to make really, really cool shit happen. And that was like the plan three and a half years ago. I've been doing it now for three and a half years. It's bloody fun. It takes obviously more time having everybody work for me and having to manage everyone, but it's so much more rewarding. And one thing that it's done to answer this question is that we've been able to be so much more proactive. 85% of the brands that I work with is me and my team planning brand deals and reaching out to them with ideas and concepts and them saying, yeah, that sounds great, let's do it. And then us making it happen. It's only 15% of the deals that I do, that like the sponsors, the adverts, whatever you want to call it on my videos, my Instagram, my Twitter, wherever it might be on my Instagram stories. Only 15% of those deals are actually deals that where they message us and they say, hey, we'd love to do this and this together. 85% of them is me sitting down with my team and going, oh my gosh, I love the North Face, the brand. I'm loving what they do at the moment. I'm loving bouldering and rock climbing. Let's reach out to them and see if we can work together and let's make a deck and pitch an idea and a couple of concepts for how we can make it work and see if they want to jump on board and help make it happen. And that's how 85% of my deals happen. It's pretty unique because obviously you've got to have the right team to be able to do that because it takes a lot of time to pitch to somebody else and they might just say no straight away. But when you pull it off and 85% of my deals are done like this, it's so good because it just means that I'm literally getting paid to work with the brands that I already want to be working with and I really, really use and I love every single day. So that's how I decide what brands I want to work with is we create ideas and decks and pitches and how they can get involved in videos and then we go out and we pitch to them and then they say, yeah, we're up for it or we're not. And there's a couple of really, really big um, deals that I'm currently pitching out and working on at the moment. One that I mentioned a second ago, but I haven't yet signed that. It's so close. My legal were on the phone to their legal three times last week, just finalizing bits, but it's looking good. So there's some cool deals. So whenever you see a brand deal by me, it's 85% of the time of the chance is that it was my idea and to come up with that and then we've gone out and pitched it to them, which is, don't know, if you're interested in that, then you're interested. Shit, my camera battery's now flashing, I've gotta be quick. Do you feel any pressure whilst being in, in a public relationship? I'm just living my life and I'm just filming bits of it. I'm not really fussed whether someone says, bloody propose Alfie, get engaged. That doesn't make me want to go and propose. Like I'm just out here living my life. When you're 18, look back, what do you want to be proud of that you achieved? Well, that is a great last question. I would say just bring in positivity into people's lives. These videos have had like 1.7 billion views across my YouTube channel, just on my three channels. 
and if they can bring in some positivity some happiness distract somebody from something hard that they're going through that's what i want to look back on at matey just that my videos were all positive and brought positivity in people's lives because there's a lot of bloody negativity out there that thrives online and in the media and i just want to be able to look back and be like everything we did was was positive and did good and created good and helped people do good anyways i'm going to end the vlog i'll probably chatted more on this bit than the rest of the video so i hope hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe i'll see you soon with another video yeah hope you're having a lovely day